Hello and welcome. I'm here with General Manager of Professional Choice, Mr. Monty Chris. Monty, thanks for coming to the ranch today. Thanks for having me. Monty, about a year and a half ago, uh, you and I came together here and joined forces. Uh, the main reason is because of this great pad that you all have designed that I thought was the best pad on the market. You've had an, an air ride pad so called for, I can remember, probably 20 years. Uh, we've had it about, yes, about 20 years, and this is now the fourth generation of, of our air ride saddle pad. Tell us a little bit about that, the, the, the product that you have inside this pad that works. Well, the material on the inside is an air ride material, and it's uh, poly polypropylene beads that are fused together. And we found, and by using a bigger bead and making it a closed cell, you're allowing more airflow through there. It also absorbs 13% more of the energy and is about 5% more pliable. So when you put it on your horse's back, it's gonna break in right away. Probably the part that intrigued me the most was with the air flowing through it. It won't grow any fungus infection or bacteria. So if you have a horse that gets a skin disease, you won't be able to transport it from one horse to another. One thing that I'm really excited about, Monty, is these pads, these new pads that you have here. This is a contoured pad, but what's, what's unique about it, instead of having the fleece, You've got a felt. We've added the felt. And I'm a big fan of the felt. I think the felt is, is the way to go. The felt is just like it's, it's a condensed wool. All felt is, is condensed wool. And, um, and you know, I think that felt has a huge effect on, on the absorption, not only of sweat, but also the absorption of shock. Correct, it does do some. And, and in the middle of all of this, you have, you have your air ride the system. Air ride, the air ride system, right. Yeah. It's got a, a third, a 3D airflow, so as opposed to the air just going up and down, I've seen a lot of other products where they'll use a foam and just punch holes in it to make it breathable. I see. You put the saddle on top of that, you've blocked those holes off. This, this 3D airflow will allow the air to go all throughout the pad. And you cut this contoured, you can see that the way it would lay across the horse's back. There's nothing worse than putting a pad on a horse that has a huge bubble that sits off their back that much, but, but at the time you put your saddle on, you know, it takes a little while for it to conform. And it also puts pressure on their spine. Sure. So, so by, by like exactly what you're saying, we've eliminated that. And I love the sizes of, the, of these for bigger saddles. We, we did make them a little different. We, we did a 33 by 38, so you have a little bit more of the drop to show the, to show the weaving of the Navajo. Okay, Monty, I was gonna take my saddle off here and uh, show people how to put a pad on correctly. When I see a lot of people putting a pad on a horse, uh, first thing is, is they do, is they go ahead and they stick it on the horse and they pull it up like this. What I just did was, all I did was just pull up all the hair. You can see the way the hair lays. As you get down on the side, on the cowlick down here, it'll start turning down. You can see that. The hair will always lay pointing towards the horse's tail. So whenever you go ahead and you put that pad and you pull this pad up, you're pulling it up against the horse's hair. And if you were to go ahead and saddle that, Monty, that'd be kind of like having your hair up, on, up underneath your hat. So whenever I put on a pad, I'll brush my horse with my pad sometimes. And I'll put it up here, right up here on the, on the neck, and I'll slide it down. Now I'm gonna put it up on her, on her back, Monty, just a little further than what it really should be. Okay. Okay? And then when I go ahead and I put the saddle on there, I can just slide that saddle and pad back down and push that hair back, back into place. Back into place. And what is this here? I don't, I'm, this channel down in here. Tell me about that channel that you have. The reason we put the channel in there was to take the pressure off the horse's spine. Monty, this product that you have inside this uh, saddle pad is used in other areas. Uh, you told me yesterday it came from the NFL and then, then also you, you see a lot of uh, helmets. Uh, Uses it in their, seats. in their seats and motorcycles to re reduce vibration. The material is, is manufactured by a company here in the United States. Yes. And, and they have exclusive um, agreements with various industries. We're fortunate enough to have it for the horse industry. Um, it's also used for shin guards, shoulder pads, uh, motorcycle helmets, motorcycle seats. So it's not just used in what in, in this horse application. So this is a, a very, very proven product. Oh, all over Europe. In fact, it's it's mandatory in Europe that they put a, put this material underneath all the playgrounds. And tell tell why. What, why? It reduces concussions. It reduces reduces you know ankle fractures, knee fractures, things like that. Um, there's three or four major NFL teams that use it on their practice facility and they've seen a huge decrease in, in that. And if somebody's interested in these pads, tell them where they can get them. Well, we've, we've sell through 2,500 
dealers in the United States and Canada, and then you're one of our dealers, so they can go to your website or come by here at the ranch or whatever. You know, there's a lot of great information uh, that you shared today, Monty. I appreciate you coming to the ranch and, and sharing that and, and uh, definitely have the best pad in the industry, and, and uh, we're an honor to be a part of it. Sounds great. Thank, Thank you, you very much. You bet. Thank you.